Well, for those of you who listened to last week's episode of our podcast, you know we bought a new RV, and there was a feature on it that I was a little skeptical of, but now I'm a believer, and we're going to talk about that in this week's episode of Travels with Delaney, the podcast. Welcome back, everyone. My name's Patrick. I'm Patty. And this is our little podcast where we talk about, well, just about everything RV related. Right. And this week, we're not on any couch. Did you know that? We're not on a couch. For those of you watching <laughs> on the YouTube channel, Travels with Delaney. The podcast. Where we post the <laughs> video version. Um, yeah, we are outside of our brand new mm-hmm. Alliance yes. 29RL. Oh, good thing you know the numbers because I don't. It's an avenue, part of the All Access series. And is it beautiful? It is a beautiful RV. We are one weekend yeah. and we are loving, loving it. it. Yes. We're in love. Now, we're love, gonna, love, love, love. We're going to talk about a feature yes, that, sir. that we've never had. But before we do that, we have to do another exciting round of This or That. All right. Woohoo! Are you ready for yep. this one? All right, I'm ready. All right, Patty. Okay. Hit me, hit me, hit me. I'm headed to the florist. Ooh, I like the florist. Are you hoping I come home with a dozen roses, a dozen of red roses, or a bouquet of spring flowers? Oh, this is easy, honey. This is super easy. Bouquet of spring flowers. Bouquet of spring flowers. Is that what you would have guessed? Uh, yeah, I thought that's which way you would yeah, go. Yeah. I, but then for a second when you said this was easy, I thought you was going to say I'd take either. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, you're not a big rose fan. No, I'm not. Um, they're pretty. I mean, especially if you get, I the red are okay. I like the pinks and the yellows and right. a white. But yeah, if, uh, spring flowers, I'm in. Get me some spring mixture. I'm good. I started to, instead of saying roses, I thought about doing stargazer lilies. Oh. Because they have a beautiful scent. Yeah. So, well, um, hydrangeas and right. lily of the valley. I could go on and on and on. Yeah. Yeah, I love flowers. I do. And I tell you, the place where I have bought quite a few flowers yes. is Aldi. And they are awesome because they last so long. Yeah. And they're not overly expensive no and they have just such beautiful varieties and they're they're great yeah. i love them there so yeah. anyway yeah. all right well let's move on do from we get talking flowers about now yeah want <laughs> you want to go get some flowers i do <laughs> well i wanted to talk today about a feature that came on this rv it's actually a feature we have never had in an right. rv in 20 mm-hmm. years of rv never partially because it's a newer feature, feature. that wasn't around 20 right. years ago i don't think right right and um I have to be honest, it was one where I was a, We're a little skeptical. Yeah, skeptical in the sense that I was like, I don't know what we the big know. hype's about. Yeah. And that is a water on demand or tankless water right. heater system. Yep. Now, we've heard about these for quite oh, a while. Oh, yeah. Our friends, Sean and Sue. They have them. They, they love I, it. I, if I remember the story right, I believe Sean <laughs> said they used our RV one weekend yes. when they bought it it's, and immediately mm-hmm. had it switched out. Yep. And he has sworn, him and Sue swear by the tankless water heater. Yep. Now, we have always had a traditional right. water heater that has, you know, I think they're normally about a six gallon where it brings in six gallons of water, heats it up, and then you draw off of that water mm-hmm. in that in that tank. Um, and I don't think we've ever had an issue because of our showering habits. Right, because I usually, I like to shower at night. And then I wash my hair in the morning because it's short. Uh, right. I can do that differently. And then you like to shower in the morning. And right. so we never were like having to fight for the hot water um, back to back, you know, like where you'd run out. So it was always, always right. worked. So for us, I mean, it was never right. a, a big deal as far as that goes. But I think the tankless or water on demand, whatever they call them, mm-hmm. I think those are probably over time going to replace the traditional tank. Oh, I would tank. think so. They're, it's so nice. The yeah. more we use it, we love it. Yeah. So it has not taken us, well, about a week yeah. to get used to it. Yeah. And um, here's what I like about it. Well, number one, it is. they say it is endless hot water. Yeah. And as far as I can tell, it is. Right. Because I've been taking some really long showers. You have. Like, like, like I would at home. <laughs> well, let me just mean like I would at home. You have, honey. And, and we can do that because we are on a full hookup site yes. where I can dump the sure. tanks. Yeah. Uh, if you were boondocking, that could be a problem. It could be a problem, yes. You'd have to be careful. You, yeah, because if you forgot that you were boondocking, then, you could yeah, fill up your gray yeah. tank pretty quickly. Yep, yep. Um, With that nice shower. So yeah. that is kind of nice because as long as you're hooked up in a full hookup site, yep. um, then, you know, I think it's it's just like being at home. Right. It's so nice. And um, 
I think one of the things we've had to, because we had to figure it out a little bit, it's a new thing, Right. Um, is the temperature that you wanted to Right. Add. So we have a control, and for some of you listening, you may be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're talking about this. We've had it for years, whatever. But for us, it's a new it's thing. It's a new and thing. And I wanted to talk about it in case anybody doesn't have one. Yeah, because we have, can't be the only ones that have nah, that. Yeah, you know, because they're still making a lot of RVs He's, with traditional yeah, water heaters. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, with the traditional one, what we used to do was ours was an electric propane. Mm -hmm. And we would, if we were plugged in, we would run it on both. Right. Um, the way I've always described a traditional water heater, if you ran it on both, is the um, the propane will get it hot quicker than right. electricity. But once it gets up to temperature, the electricity will help maintain it. Mm -hmm. And then that way, as you start to draw off of it, that propane will kick right back in to help recharge it. So, but with this... My understanding is it's much more energy efficient because with the traditional tank heater that we've always had, it was either constantly using propane or electricity to keep water hot. Right. With this, it's using no energy, if I'm understanding it right, except for when you turn on hot water and it says, hey, heat me up. Right. And so we have a, a panel or a little control. Right, that you can in, read it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in our bathroom. And you can set the temp. I don't remember the minimum and the maximum. I want to say the maximum is 120, 122. Yeah, that would be hot. That would be super hot. That would be scalding. Um, and so <laughs> Corey, up at King's RV, when he was doing our mm -hmm. walkthrough, he had suggested that we find a temperature that is right for us. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you do that, then when you get ready to wash your hair or take a shower, you don't have to worry about trying to mix cold in with hot to find that perfect temperature. Right. And I think, I don't know how you feel about this, I feel like we're pretty well dialed I in. I think we are. I think we made another adjustment this week on, the, I think, the number. Yeah, so we're currently set at 105. Right. Which, if I remember right, is what we used to set our hot tub at. I think so. And so, literally, I can we can just go in yep. and we can turn the hot water on. We never turn the cold water on. No. Now, it takes just a little bit of time. Just a little bit because it's got to do its thing. Well, it's got to go from where the heater, heater is. element is yeah. to, you know, so there's some piping that's full of cold water. So right. now you get that cold water out. And then once it starts, it, it maintains that 105. It's nice. And it's like because a hug. I don't know about you, <laughs> but the, the way we used to do with our traditional, you know, you go in, you turn on the hot water. And then oh, the too hot. hot. Too hot. So then you're Whoop, pulling up cold. the cold. Oh, too and then, cold. Yep. And it's like <laughs> back and forth. It's like, what? And, yeah. and I, I felt like I never could get it right. Well, and I felt like I was just wasting water. That's what I always felt like. It was a waste of water because, you know, we do a lot of, we used to do a lot of boondocking. So you're always like thinking, I don't want to, I don't waste water, period. Right. Even at the cabin, at the house, it's like, you don't want to waste water. And so, yeah. So it, it makes it, I think for me, a little bit easier. And I'm sure you, it's just easier yeah. to pop right in and it. And in a few seconds, you're good right. to go. You're golden, and you're set. I'm waving at Kevin <laughs> from Happy Acres Campground, where we are uh -huh. uh, currently at. Uh, Kevin is the owner, along with his wife Angie. He just walked, uh, drove by, yeah. and I waved. So yeah. Um, so those of you watching the video podcast, if you saw a wave, that's what I was doing. And so, and then there's Steve and Darlene, <laughs> and Steve. Steve actually works here with me. And for those of you that don't know, I don't know, we've talked about this on the podcast. I accepted a full-time job this summer here at Happy Acres yeah, Campground. Yeah, summer job. Go, it's like a parade. There goes Angie now. It, it is a parade. <laughs> we weren't invited to this parade. I know. So we're sitting here working, recording a podcast while everybody else is in a parade. Um, but no, I'm working this summer full-time. Yeah. Uh, doing uh, the front office and helping out with activities and anything they need me to do, to be quite honest. So Yeah, that's what it is. It's, I it's, love it's, it. It's all part of the process, Clark. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but anyway, Steve works here with me. Steve m primarily works grounds, like right. the mowing and the trimming right. and, and things like that. So, but anyway, back to the hot water. You digress. I digress. Um, yeah, so back to this tankless water. Now, ours is a Suburban. There, there's different brands of them. There's Truma and there's, um, I believe... Aldi is still one. Uh, so there's different different brands out there. Ours is a Suburban, which I believe our old water heater in the prior alliance, which was that traditional, okay. was also a Suburban okay. water heater. So apparently Suburban's making both okay. of them now. Makes sense. Um, but I have to say, even though Sean had kept telling me how great this thing was, and I was always like, we, we weren't don't, a believer. In yeah, we weren't a believer. Mm -hmm. We, I, well, It's not that I didn't believe him. I was just like, Sean, we don't need one. We don't need it. Why would I need because it? Because we, we never ran out of hot water. But I have to tell you, it is worth it just for the purpose of being able to set the hot water, not turn on the cold right. water, and have the perfect temperature at all times. Right. So, I, again, don't know how many of you already have those. Right. But I think... 
that it's a really nice uh, I think it's a to great have. feature. I think, like you said, all RVs should will probably have them in there. It's just nice. Yeah. The other feature that I wanted to talk about on this RV yeah. that I'm already in love with, and I know this is going to sound crazy, but the fireplace. I don't. We've had kind of a cool summer, spring time. It's not totally summer yet. And our nights are getting chilly and our mornings are chilly. And you just pop that thing on in the morning and it just heats up yeah. the rig. It's so pretty one way and it puts off the heat. That's yeah, even the pubs enjoy the, the fireplace. I've seen them kind of get all snuggly in front and that's where their kennel is. And it's just so nice and cozy when you got that going on. It, we've never had a fireplace and I think it makes it so homey in there and comfy. Yeah, and here's the thing. I've seen them in RVs, and I always thought they were a little gimmicky, like, oh, you got your little fake fireplace. <laughs> and um, Yeah, because we have a real one at the cabin. But, I, like, we've had this thing, like, a week, and every morning, because, like it. you said, it has been, I mean, like, last night, I think it got down to, like, 44. Yeah, it's chilly for um, me. <laughs> so I flip it on, one, because it really does put off uh-huh. good heat. And uh, the other thing is, is, you know, when it's morning and I'm having my coffee, it's actually kind of pretty to have it's it on. Ambiance, yeah. I know. And, you know, we haven't, I don't think you did this yet, but they showed us the different colors. It yeah, you, I have not played with it, but yeah, you can change the <laughs> color tone of the fire. Yeah, it's so pretty. The crystals in it. It's just very modern looking in there. It, it It's just the way they have it set up. It's just really pretty. So Yeah, so so there's two, yeah. uh, two features that I'm already yes. uh, in love with. And then I know this is going to sound crazy, but I think unless there and maybe there's a feature that you want to talk mm-hmm. about to round this I'm out. I'm thinking here. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say the other thing that. Oh, I know what I like. Go ahead. I want the shower curtain. Okay. And <laughs> let's talk about the shower curtain because that's, that's interesting because that was the one that is what I was thinking because it's completely different than what we've had. Yeah. Before. Cause in the prior lands it was showered doors and there were three doors and they had their own track and they kind of crisscrossed each other and you opened up to a full door and you had to make sure it was latched when you travel or they'd break and all that stuff. I liked it, but I didn't like it. I didn't like it because of how to keep it clean. Cause where those doors overlap, you know, you get soap scum in there and I, I just always wanted to make sure it was kept clean and keeping the track clean. And it was just, it drove me crazy. So this one, I don't know, how, how do you explain this one? This one's different. Well, for starters, I don't mean to correct you. <laughs> Uh-oh. But it wasn't the prior Lance. It was the prior Alliance. <gasps> oh, Alliance. Yes. Sorry. I don't want the Lance people to come after sorry. and say, what do you mean you had glass shower doors in your Lance? <laughs> no, it was the prior Alliance. Sorry, so Alliance. I just want to clarify. It yeah. was the prior Alliance. Oopsie. Yeah, it was... Um, yeah, they were like it, uh, those glass doors. Very pretty, but they yeah. were hard to keep clean. Well, there was a couple of things. One, I know you hated trying to keep those clean. Mm-hmm. And then number two, you have to make sure that yeah. that latch is locked in. And it clicks. And clicks. Because I'm telling you, if those things come out during travel. They're going to break. They're going to break. Yeah. So the one we have now, I it's like a squeegee. It's it's, it's, it's a plastic material. Almost like a film, maybe? Like a film. It's opaque. Like, you cannot see no. through it. Like, it's much better privacy than the glass doors. The glass doors, you could see through. You you could see, yeah. Yeah, which I'm not saying I was peeping on you, but <laughs> I'm sure. just saying. Uh, but you could see through. Now you say what you were doing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but with this one, um, you, you can't, can't see. You who's can't the, see out. No, and you can't see out either. Mm-mm. Um, but when you unlatch it, it rolls itself back up, in mm. essence, squeegeeing off any water. Right. And so you don't have to worry, I guess, about uh, staining or water spots or anything like that right. with it. Uh, I know that our friends, uh, Jerry and Teresa from Happy Place Diaries, I believe they had taken out their glass doors uh, in their Montana and put one of these in. And he just, he was the one that told me, like, these things are great. Okay. And so now Alliance is using them, at least on this this particular avenue all access right um and i think i like it i think i really like it. the only th- issue i'm having well you do yeah <laughs> you do have an issue with it um is getting out because the way it hooks it's like a little clip well you just it just i had to figure out what i'm doing track, yeah and i didn't want to like break wrench it. too hard or push or whatever so i keep saying when i'm in there Honey, come help me open you know, the I've had door. to go in and rescue Patty. For, she's locked in the shower. Help, help, help. Which is kind of crazy. Um, here's what I will say. Uh-huh. I don't think it's as elegant looking it's as the not. glass doors. You're right. It, I mean, it just isn't. It, no. And in fact, it seems kind of 
flimsy. It, I think it could get broken easily. I hope not. Yeah. But um, but I will say I think it. it's more practical because you're going to close it for travel, so it's going to be all rolled up. Yep. You don't have to worry about no. that. And, again, you don't have to worry about keeping it clean because it, in essence, cleans itself when you roll it Right, out. right. So, yeah, so those are the three features on our new Alliance Avenue 29RL all-access series that we really, really like. Mm -hmm. um, is that water, that tankless water, water heater, heater, yep, and that fireplace with oh, the built-in heater, and then this very right. unique shower door. Right. And I know there's somebody listening going, Dude, those have all been around for several <laughs> years. This is nothing. Hey. Well, it's new to us. It's new to us. And, and we're pretty darn We're proud of it. Yeah, we're proud of our <laughs> fancy schmancy fireplace. So. Yeah. And, you know, stuff that's in general, the fit and finish in this one is another thing. Oh, if I can yeah. add a fourth. It's just beautiful. It's it's an upgrade from even the last one. So I, I will say the last alliance, and it, it was not, in my opinion, up to alliance standards. I think it got rushed out of the factory. It, yeah, it looked, it looked like a lot of things kind of just got. And honestly, up. if I would have been an alliance, I would have been embarrassed by it and and said, "Bring that thing over here and let's get it fixed right," uh, which they never said. No. Um, but you know, this one, I as I have said. Alliance has redeemed themselves in my eyes. Mm -hmm. This one is so much better built. And just look, you know, just the little things. Just the little, the little details. details they went to the, the time to do. Yeah. So, and yeah. so I appreciate that because, yeah. I, you know, we've had fr we have friends in alliances that are like, oh, my gosh, the quality is top notch. And, and like, I think we just had, you know, and that happens. Unfortunately, that does happen. It does. So anyway. Well, yep. hey. Let us know what's a feature that you have on yeah. your current RV that when you got it, you were excited to have. Right. I'll be curious to see what out there. Who knows? There's probably new features we don't even know about. I'm sure. And, uh, I'm sure, honey. <laughs> and as always, I do love my snap pads. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, <laughs> but I just throw that random fact out there for yeah. all the snap pad haters in the world. <laughs> snap pad haters. Yeah. Well, don't I be a hate, hate, hate. I only know of two, but oh. um, most people who have snap pads absolutely love them. I so. know. Anyway, yeah. mm -hmm. and speaking of snap pads, I think it's time we thank our uh, producer, Mr. Is that a transition? Uh, yeah, that's a transition. <laughs> Mr. Jim Snap Pad Kuzman. Hi, yeah, Jim. That's, hi, Jim. <laughs> thank you so much. Jim is the guy that edits our podcast for us, produces it, makes sure it is tip top when it comes to the audio yes, quality. He's awesome. And without him, we wouldn't have a we wouldn't have a podcast. No, we and love we, Jim. And if it wasn't for all of you taking time out of your day to listen, we'd uh, just be talking to each other. Yeah. And we do that all the time. We, we do that all That's the time. Boring. We don't need to record it. So, <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, thanks for joining us this week. If you have ideas for episodes you'd like us, yeah. things you want us to talk about or investigate, let us know. Let us know down in the comments. Sure. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you. On down the road. Bye-bye. Bye. Travels with Lady. We'll see you on down the road.